Okay. Thank you very much. Because why why I brought that is before she went offline, I was in a live and she made a statement and said, um, is it your daddy that went for a protest? That why will Mr. Mui go to your daddy platform to address that? You understand where I'm coming from now. So is she, is she online? I, is she, is she, I think is she online she's now? off now. The commenters are saying she's off. Okay. So I understand she's where off. she's there's coming nothing, from. That for me, there's maybe nothing, some other time. No Might not be deal. today. No maybe some deal. other yeah, time. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. I, since she's off, and then um, someone will be able to go there. Um, I, we have we have Princess A A O. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Oh, uh, much has been, much have been said anyway. But firstly, may I say thank you to an Asuko. Thank you because a lot of bullets were shot towards you. But I really appreciate you for the patience to deal with all those nasty comments and everything on that platform. Thank you so much. And secondly, a lot of people have been saying, oh, Mr. Amuwa shouldn't have deleted the message sent in error. In a, in a corporate world, when you send an email or a message to someone who the message is not meant for, the best thing is to delete the message and say to the person, oh, I'm sorry, this message wasn't for you. So why should people be saying, Oh, Mr. Amiwa has done the wrong thing by deleting the message. He hasn't done anything wrong by deleting the message. If you send some, someone a message, if it's wrong, it's not for the person, delete it. You shouldn't leave it because it's not meant for the person initially. It, 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 the person should, shouldn't have a uh, privy into that information. So why would people be blaming him? Please, let's... Let, let, Let's be modest in our thinking. I think we need to use a bit of critical thinking before dealing with other people. Thank you. That's all I need to say. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Princess A.O. Um, I just to quickly say something. I don't even want to say, I'm going to say something completely different, actually. Nothing about the drama and all of that. But just to say that the message that he sent to Yinka, just because I was trying to address an Platform, but they're not listening. It's not just because he obviously didn't call her and say thank you. It's because if you read that message, it had other people. It had about the security agencies, and I actually think that's a template, you know, for anywhere protest is done, whether it's in Lagos, UK, anywhere. That's just a template letter that obviously Mr. Miwa is sending out to appreciate everyone, the state, the people themselves and all the uh, the you know the organizers of the protest that it was peaceful it's end of story and that's actually why that message came in that unofficial you know i say on a, in in that official capacity basically and and it's just standard practice so it's a template it's not that before this time i don't think mr Muiwa would not have picked up the phone and said oh well done you did a good job and all of that even the video and I posted on my wall. As soon as he saw the news, he shared it. And me, as soon as I saw it, I just shared it. I was like, oh, that's great. But there's nothing, there's no bias, there's no bitterness, there's none of that. You know, so it's just perplexing. But anyway, I don't want to drag. Um, um, please, for anybody who does the protest, that message is sent to Ayaminka would also be sent to you. It's just to appreciate everybody. And it should even go to the police or the people, the DSS and every other uh, security arm of the state, country, or place that you do protest, just to appreciate them. So for the next time's sake, they would know that, you know what, oh, they were polite, they were courteous, they thanked us, and so if they come back again, we'll give them an audience. End of story. Thank you, Olaide. Yeah, thank you so much, Amasuko, okay, um, for the wonderful job you're doing. Justice for Mobad, we pin, and we continue to Talk about just for me, but um, the prince, welcome. <clears throat> uh, good morning, everyone. A actually, you know, it's not about um, what happened tonight. I wanted to talk about, you know, uh, there's some things that have been happening 
uh, on this uh, Joseph of Mubad uh, throughout this week. And uh, I was involved in some in which is for positive uh, uh, regarding to the Joseph of Mubad, you know, that involves some personality in which it was not supposed to come on uh, social media and uh, unfortunately we were brought it on the social media you know and uh, actually i would have i would have preferred to reach out to him but I've, I've reached out to mr loba you know but no response from him yet you know there's a name that is not supposed to come on social media at all because the person is just trying to help and the person doesn't want his name to be mentioned on, on, on social media but his name was mentioned yesterday in which i was seriously sad because the person warned me that he doesn't want his name to be mentioned on social media uh i don't want to stress stress it or i don't want to go far on, on this issue you know but at the same time there are some things they call secret and there are some people that are, that are working on the ground, you know, to achieve this um, goal, you know, that is for more mobile. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, once they call something secret, I believe we should make it secret. When some people, they don't want their name to be mentioned publicly, I believe they, we should keep it like that because of uh, some stuffs in which is personal to that person you know and then uh, for me I to even when for women to came online yesterday and mentioned that person's name i didn't actually uh, as i'm talking to you now i've not i've not talked to that person you know, regarding the what happened on social media la last night but when they cause something secret you I, I believe we should be able to keep it like that we should protect this person identity no matter how because i know the consequences of that person involving in this joseph of mobad um i'd like they i sent the message to you i just i, I test d d uh, dm me but um uh, this thing um Twitter did not approve it you know I would probably talk to, to some people behind, behind the scene, you know. You know, understand? I would like to talk to some people behind the scene, you know. But when they cause something secret, once I say I don't want my name to be mentioned publicly, I believe the name of the person should be kept like that, you know. And then, and is I've, the person, I've sent so some messages. You're talking about sorry, sorry to interject. The person talking about is, is, is it part of us? Like, is it part of the just from about or some someone outside? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's part of yeah, yeah, yeah. The message is yeah, it's it's yeah, it's part of just from about, and because some stuff happened over the week. Because I, what I'm talking about is this thing has been happening for the past three, four, five days. You know, in which I got involved directly, and uh, when some things was explained to me, I believe that oh, this thing can help us in going forward you know but unfortunately FCT uh, is still around the Muiwa kind of stores you know in which I don't know why so but it's not something that what, what I have with me and the information I got it's not something that I can be uh, discussing on social media you know because it can cause a lot of no, yeah. obviously, obviously, sir. So you don't right. even need to talk about it. You need to shelve it and no. you know. Call no. it what happens is that I don't have contact. I don't. Have, I don't have personal contact of anyone. I don't. I'm. I'm independent. I don't. Okay, I don't them belong a, to any send group. Them, send anybody I've, that you talk to a message, and they'll contact you if that's okay. Yeah. If you just send a message, somebody will contact you. You can send a message to your lady. He will contact you. Thank you. Right. Send me the message or you sent to any of us. We'll try to address. Oh, it's, it's no, it's something that everybody. Is.
the reason why I came on, online is that. Do you want to mention the person's name? I don't want to mention the person's name. I've said it better than what I'm talking about. Yeah, but me, I know what I'm talking about. Me, I don't me understand. I want to believe the other thing. I'm talking about it in closed doors now. If he does it, then we don't need to know about it. We talk about it in closed doors. Thank you so much, sir. Or like, can you continue? Yeah. The prince, please talk to me in private. Um, you know, That's sometimes right. when right. I said okay. that, okay. No problem. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 just yeah, because me, I, I'm lost, so we just need to, you know, we are over 300 people here, and we want to get to you on, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get it's a long day, the long day yesterday, we left here 4 a.m. Nigerian time, and then we are here again still you know mm. dabbling on this thing and again just mm. just for 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 a fact yesterday uh i think some people came around this time yesterday and then uh, he appreciated um those on ground um and appreciated everyone of us also on TikTok doing this justice for mobile and it is very very important that um we we continue to to be we continue to be talking about this just for about alone alone please all this dragging needs to stop if anybody has personal beef with me do it offline and cost me out offline don't bring it on just for but it's going to cut to the case because what happened today might like we are we are trying to have a, a demonstration in the us and in the uk and people have been brainstorming on what to even put on the placard for the past few days and all these things might just derail some people's mental health like okay it's very easy this kind of thing is very easy to do i'm not i'm not even going to the protest again it's very easy people are planning to do it in dublin do other part of the country and all these kind of things will score to the case because what happened yesterday was a fantastic stuff that we all appreciated and i'm still happy about it it was even on ait so so wonderful and this thing that happened again, it is cut to this thing to make it to demoralize us. Let us stop this thing. I, mean, I won't be able for peace. I won't be able to come together. It's not my, it's not my own thing because we're all adults. We're all 18 plus. According to TikTok, we're all 18 plus. So anybody can do whatever they want to do. But please, because of Mobad, is why we are doing this. And let's come, let us stop all these um, um, ridiculous um, um, allegations here and there. Like, like the kind of question Crocodile fought man asked i mean is, 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 that question is, 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 is for me we do expect fourth man is ridiculous honestly speaking um because you heard it from people that you know have been attacking this person and you don't expect them to say good thing about him you get trying to say uh, you want to harm someone on what ground did he did he say to them did he call it up ah, my it say it if he said it they, I mean, these are the things we shouldn't be. We should be condoning some things. When they, when you hear this, just shove it out. Nonsense, nonsense. That's just it. Because it will bring more. It will be more problems. When you when people just say, you can't expect me to be saying. Yeah, I need to mention. You can't expect me to be saying good things about Kunibaje or Dawa class or Abati. It's not possible. That's how it is, this thing is right now. And we need to. We need to. We need, we need to. We need to let's shine our eyes. Let's let's be clear about these things. When they don't like you, when the people lie against you, they will, they will take it, they will take it out of proportion. They will times three the, the whole thing. I want to stop it. Well, adult, let's stop all this propaganda. This is not politics. This is not politics. Pol politics, we know they do propaganda. Just for them to sway voters, to sway opposition, to sway the ruling parties. It is in politics they do all these things. This is not politics. This is not politics. It's real life issues. It can make or ma any one of us. This is justice for what we are talking about. And let's be focused. Justice for Mobile, this is what we are fighting for. And that is why I think we have supervised TV here. My 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 honorable peacemaker. You get please again to, today, 5 p.m. Nigerian time. X just underscore mobile. We discuss justice on that. We discuss justice for Mobad. That will, we don't entertain fuckers on X. When I say we, every one of us, we are good on that. Please, let's come again. We are talking about Mr. Richard Somiawi, the forensic um, um, man.
So Lagos, uh -huh, sorry, uh, the call. So Lagos State in general, we need to we need to call out the Lagos State government. Mr. Miwa was on um was it talk a few days ago? I think on Wednesday he was calling on the government, and this is what we want him to be talking about, not addressing something like this. It can be addressed offline, yeah, it can be addressed online. But the main issue should be hitting. Oh, Baba Mubaz brother said this. So the government will know that this man is not the only one speaking as well. So let's focus, Edjo, please. Please. Justice for Mubad. No dragging on Mr. Joseph Aloba. We don't want to tolerate that. We don't want that to happen. Please. Thank you so much. Um, we've been having, we were dancing, but again, it happens like that. I want to bring up on the uh, Honorable Peacemaker. Super Vibes TV. Welcome, sir. I feel, I feel honorable peacemaker, though. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Lighty. Uh, honorable young daddy. Oh, thank you, sir. Energy goddess, I'll uh, see you. Mr. Muyo Waikale, sir. Um, our new sheriff in town, the prince. They have a blessing, Hanasuko, and the great uh, comrade, Crocodile. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good uh, night, or wherever you may be, you know, living on the face of the earth. Um, I've not been online since morning. I came out this um, evening, let's say around 8 or 9 or so. Uh, I just see that every good thing that was done yesterday uh, has now, has now, I won't say gone down in the wind, I would just say, uh people forget that and we are in another uh another cloud again you know we go 10 step forward and 100 and backward with you know all these everyday genetic guns that you know that we keep uh doing and you know the funniest thing is this we now have anti-justice inside the team justice and these are the big major predicaments that we are having uh, nobody is doing anything to us. We are the one who is doing ourselves. So it's either we take it or we don't take it. Um, so I would say probably it's high time we need to, you know, look inward and not outside. Uh, we should stop talking about calling people anti-justice and let's even talk about the people who call themselves the justice team themselves. You know, what is going on? A lot is going on. I came online this evening as I, or uh, some people begin to send me some stuff. Okay, come on here, come on here, come on here. I begin to go around them like, okay, so what exactly is going on? What exactly is wrong with everybody? You know, why are we doing all these things? Uh, they've now turned the whole thing to politics and politics. You know, it's more or less like, uh one party is fighting the other party and they are aiming for a presidential seat or something something you know it's becoming more disgusting and you know it's taking uh i would like put it like people are getting frustrated and tired of all this everyday drama and like everybody was saying before i come up oh no peace no peace this now eh, we we'll still keep talking about peace but we are not saying everybody should be in peace i think it has gotten to a stage now that we need to realize that uh, some things are to be left undone and we need just to turn over a new leaf and know what exactly uh, what we should be doing. I'm not conversant with the conversation, you know, from beginning because I don't actually know exactly what happened. But from the little I can pick here and there, uh, what I would say is that... <laughs> There is a lot of work to be uh, to be done. Not to the outsiders. I'm talking about the justice team themselves. You know, the commenters are great. They're doing a wonderful and amazing jobs every time on every platform. But the truth of the matter is that they are part of the problem. You know, and sometimes the things we do, the things we say, uh, if they are not verifiable, uh, it do cause commotion because they pick a little bit from here and there and there and there. You know, it's two heads together and bass booze of course. And there are people, there are people that you even think, oh, this person uh, is this, is this. And at the end of the day, you find out that uh, the person, <laughs> uh, they can actually be, you know, trusted. 
Uh, so I wouldn't even ask us to be looking outside and be thinking some people. And I think uh, the justice team themselves, we now have uh, uh, anti-justice inside team justice. So this is what we need to look in what to. And at this stage now, it's not like the table is now divided. You know, there is a division. And that division uh, is the problem that we are now facing. So how do we go about that? How do we move from here? Uh, Yoruba manko we kongpe ileti yoba korajo kura. I forget how this elderly people do uh, say that proverb. Uh, but what they are trying to say there is that ileti yoba shira wano You know, uh, it will be hard for them to accomplish any great things. So in essence, what I'm trying to say is this: if um, people, uh, if if there is a lot of separations. Some people are taking it up. Some people are dragging it down. Some people are sitting on the table that I don't feel more don't feel bad day. Some people are of the opinion that oh, eh, they are just waiting for everything to crash so that they can see people to name them, you know, uh, call out. And um, where where do we and when do we arrived at this juncture? What took us to this level? Yeah, so that is why I said we need to look inward and think deeply. What, what exactly is wrong with everybody? You know, what exactly is the problem? Because this is just a twenty-seven-year-old boy we're talking about. You can get your, you no know, be more, you no know, be only more than that country now. Yeah, there will still be so many cases after uh, promise. When the boy gets his justice, there, you know, people are still going to be friends. So why are we now causing all this division? Eh? Why? So, you know, there, some people were saying, oh, you should be careful because they will start dragging you. They don't, they drag me already. So before you even think about that, that has been happening. Mm, does it affect me in any way? Uh, I'm a, uh, you know, I come from the breed of a uh, thick skin. Uh, because I'm making peace doesn't mean that I'm not, you know, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, well, let's just leave that aside. So the truth of the matter is that we just need to be uh, in one accord. And if some people said, okay, they don't need the peace, fine. You know, I appreciate Anika Day yesterday, and she was on my live as well. And I appreciate Perkins too. And I appreciate everybody who has been doing a human's job. Uh, but the truth is this, yesterday, uh, the appreciation goes round, you know, across the a globe to them and today look at where we are again so kilon shele go 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 what is all this kilon shele if they say okay uh, mr muyewa sent a message and it was a mistake and he deleted the message and he sent a new one uh, that shouldn't cause commotion uh, probably just for you to you know read the message through and say okay probably maybe this is not for me or so then put a call through it's as simple as um, abc that is why I said uh, I wasn't familiar with the whole thing because I have not been online since morning. But with what I've read, I think that is exactly what, what happened. So if that's the case, that shouldn't be blown out of proportion. So I don't see any reason for all these uh, hula baloo scenes. So to me, what I would say is that uh, we need a lot of prayer warriors. A lot of prayer warriors in this uh, justice for MOVA because it's not, it's not beginning to look as if all these things are not even ordinary. You know, one day joy, like, not that ten days dragon. So, please, can I ask a question? Uh, can I ask a question? Can, I ask a question? can you allow me to talk? Can you just oh, allow me to talk? Please ask a question. Yes. Let me finish, please. You know, the truth is, we just need people that if it is prayer, if it is uh, an IVG, if it is anything, let's begin to do. Because all this one day we go happy, the next ten days, now bass goes everywhere dragging. It, it, it needs to stop. So that we can even make headway, we can know where we are going to. So the prince, you can talk now, sir. That is just my own submission for that. Question, and anybody can answer that question. Anybody can answer that question. Do we need anything more than justice? Is there anything that is behind this uh, justice for mobile that's more than justice? It's just a question, please. No, thank you, my brother, for that question. Let me ask everybody. Because, because I don't see why are we fighting. What are we fighting for? Even when they release, if they release 
five billion for Mr. Loba. Are we going to share from from the five billion? All what we want is justice. Why are we fighting for? What are we fighting for? What do we want to gain after this justice for Mumbai? Anybody can answer, please. Thank you so much, uh, sir, for that uh, wonderful question. Uh, I think I reiterate that uh, in my earlier submission as well. That it's like we're turning into politics that people are now waiting to be president of a country. I said that earlier too. So it's like uh, maybe there is a monetary gain that is not open to some of us, you know? Or uh, maybe there is something that we don't <laughs> know they, that some people know. You better tell us. I don't, that is, see, so this there is, is just money. where I start. Maybe there's something. There is money. That some there is money. Know. There is glory. There is fame. There is, there is influence. There is, uh, Over there is words. international grants, you know, foundational grants, and all those things like that. Yeah. So I just want to, uh, so, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Muiwa, Please, yes. uh, I want to apologize for the. I asked to uh, actually. I just want to. I came. I wanted to. I wanted to address. I wanted to corroborate what uh, my brethren, my colleague, um, sorry, uh, barrister lady said. It was a. It was a ridiculous uh, question because it was raised by some ridiculous person, and we have more ridiculous people who believe in such ridiculous claim. And this. And this night. Uh, this night, just this night alone, this evening alone, a lot of people have begun to parrot the rhetoric that you are intentionally, quote unquote, involved in some nego behind the scene negotiation on behalf oh, of Baba. Uh, Baba. It was so ridiculous, and I was surprised. So <laughs> new sort of people that I actually respect are actually saying the same thing this night. <laughs> And I was shocked Good. to listen to it. That's why I said, okay, it sounds ridiculous, but we have more people buying into it, who are, who are accepting it, who are eating it up. So I said, okay, let me bring it out. Let me, let me, even, let me even ask you. I, don't, I know I don't believe in it, but let me ask you so that you can tell the whole world and you can make a few comments about it. Because I heard them even say something like, you intend to harm um, Perkins and you intend to bring physical harm on uh, Yengadi and that she should go to the UN and reports like you know do some finding reports activities and also uh lo, you know also lodge a report that you are also trying to like uh you know bring an attack to her because you are trying to fight for justice or something like that so it was ridiculous because i know you can do that but i just want you to address it for god because we have more people who are, who, are it, who are saying it who are saying it more people are saying it for, more than for god who so made that's me. it I've, Thank you. For God who made me, I've never, I've never had any discussion with Perkins in my life, if not because of this protest. Um, maybe three days ago or four days ago, when uh, Madame Inka Aike Ade embossed me. In fact, my first, uh, my first message is that please, who are you? Identify yourself. So she, I think she now called. I said, oh, see Shai Inke Ade. They want to have a protest in in uh, Abuja. That okay. She's going to send me in, uh, some. I said okay, that's nice. Just last week, that was when I know who I care days. I've been hearing Perkins, Perkins. I never. I don't have his number. I never have any contact with him. So somebody that I've never had any contact with is he the person I want to be? I want to be fighting. In fact, when uh when during the corona inquest when they said okay they wanted to organize some protests when some people came and said okay Pekis is in korodu and then he needed support i said okay go ahead so far is for this justice because they are asking me do you do you know okay you know, Pekis want to organize this and that that's okay no problem go ahead i never for once asked any any dealing with Perkins, if not because of three days or four days ago, I don't, I have never had anything with uh, Inka. So I don't know somebody that I just met and they want justice, he mean where? For my son, I will now, that is the person, I will now be uh, collaborating with some people to take away or to, to eliminate. I don't know how some people will just start somewhere and orchestrates a scenario 
that doesn't exist. What did they want to gain? I keep I have been asking people for the past how many months. I've never you've maybe people that have never seen me on any any platform. I don't want any platform. I don't want to own a TV. I don't want to own a TikTok. I don't want to own any this thing. So up uh, for what? We said we want justice for a 26 year old boy. And then some people just want ah, for crying out loud. Hey, they pray along for peace to reign. Yesterday I came out. When you say, okay, your lawyer, lawyer, okay. Like your lawyer, approach Baba Legal team so that they will work together. What else do you want? God will judge all of us in this in, in this justice. I That's think it's just sure. an attempt by some That's element sure. to, to get at the top of it's just an, I think it's just an attempt by some element to want to be at the driving seat by at all cost. And maybe uh they want to ride it they want to ride the train or they will derail it if they're not able to ride the train so that's the problem that is going on mr so titus croco crocodile for me there. for me Hello, for mr. me Mayor. sorry 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 i'm coming for me i won't i won't uh i won't allow people to derail this justice because i keep on telling people if you are the type that when you have a plan you the plan you've not executed you are coming on air to be celebrating it that is defeating the purpose of the reason why that cause is being fought in the first place. I will be part of it. I cited an example. When the Rosa case was about to happen, nobody knew when those petitions were written. Public got to know at the time they want to pick up the Rosa. You don't write a petition against somebody and then the, the immediately that you wrote that petition, you are, now, you are now celebrating it on social media. You think the person you wrote a petition against we leave you and allow that person to fly you are fighting against the power that be you are fighting against somebody presume half upper hand they have government backing you have to be strategized in your dealings ah. god will save them all ah, right. yes um yes uh hello everybody good day honorable york daddy Hello, Super Vibes. Hello, everyone. Uh, Crocodile, please unmute. Um, I just want to ask a question because, uh, um, you know, we have a big problem, you know, big problem. Do you see a solution to this problem? I see one. I just want to hear from you first. Yeah, I think. Or, or somebody else. Okay. Well, for me, I think this is a very good step. Because, for example, uh, after what happened this night, uh, Mr. Muiwa was called and the narrative was uh, set straight. And we can see that all what really happened was misinformation. It's just a human error that could, that could easily be taken care of with a little bit of patience, a little bit of maturity and discretion and consideration. Because when you consider the mental health of the masses of the people on this Justice for Mobile movement, you'll be careful in the way you move. If you can do so well as to arrange a successful protest yesterday, you know that you've taken, you've occupied a much bigger position in the movement. And it means that your movement what you say and what you do is very important. The next step that you take, what comes out from your mouth is very important. Especially when you know that there are some persons that are always being castigated in the movement. And there's also an attempt to derail the movement, not only by the justice for mobile people, but also by some disgruntled elements within the uh, justice movement, just because they feel aside left aside so setting the record straight is very important and people have to understand that when you get when you see something i think there is no um f formula because it has to do with individual solution why are you first of all in the justice for mobad what exactly brought you here 
And are you focused on it? Are you interested in being, you know, in some kind of carcass against the other? Are you interested in fame, in money? What, br what brought you here? And what do you need to learn as a person in order to keep you in the movement, in order to keep you sane? So I think a lot of people are losing it already. And it's because of a lot of rebel rousers and a lot of some some hosts who are just kind of careless. So the main thing is, it is very important for everyone on this platform or everyone in the movement to be careful, to watch the movement and the words of each of the hosts and not allow themselves to be taken astray, driven astray by the words of some host. Because if you see, this is a solution. The next day, another host comes with some narrative and then everybody says, oh, they begin to lose faith, something like that. So it's just a human error that could easily be corrected with a little bit of patience, discretion, maturity. It's not something that you're supposed to bring out and begin to, you know fully well that is a very volatile case. And people are having their mental health messed up every day on a daily by this case. It's just a little bit of patience that can solve it. Definitely. And I think also knowing... Mr. Kofoda, Mr. Kofoda, is it possible for us to forget about this messy stuff and try to move on on the just for Mubad? Yes, that's what and we're trying uh, to figure out. But that's how to move on chain. and uh, make sure something yeah, like this let's doesn't happen everything. again in the future. Yeah, yeah let's, let's just take it as if yeah, the message was a mistake and uh, that's it. Let's just forget about that area. And the I have prince. a message for Mr. Mwewa. Mr. Mwewa, is, you know, you are, I can see that you are the one in charge of this case. Uh, how can we collaborate with people that you see as I, I don't know how would I put it. That you have issue with within justice for Mubad. How can we settle it? I know, and then this message goes to uh, barrister, Olaide, Titus, Crocodile, anybody, ev uh, even the even uh, Daddy York. How can we sort this thing out? With the, because we need to do this, we can't do it alone. This is, yeah. Let me tell something. Let, me, let uh, wait, wait before you answer. Let me tell something. Joseph for Mubad, we cannot win it individually. We can only win it collectively. We are fighting government in power. And if we if we divide in this, I think people that is fighting for justice, if we divide, we cannot we can't go anywhere. Because we need support of the people, we need finance, we need the energy, we need the spirit, we need the power. We need the energy to do this. Don't just believe one man cannot fight the government. It's going to be collective effort. And we have to do this thing. And uh, if you are bringing me up, when you're done, I need to talk to Muiwa too. So, yeah, so yeah, when, let, let me tell you something. If you think you can do it alone, we, the person is going to fail. This is going to be collective effort. If, let me say that's it, that if, if you see anybody around you that you don't believe or don't trust, I will advise you to put the person away. But in a situation like this, we let us come together as a force to fight this battle. Bring the people that are spiritual, bring them along. People with with uh, that are financially strong, bring them along. People that can use their energy, bring them along. Don't push anybody away. And let me tell you, if you get justice, it's for your, it's, you, you are going to take the glory because you are the one that ending the justice for Mubad. And if you lose, if, if you God lose, are going to take the glory, relax, let me relax, correct relax, you relax, on relax. that. Please, 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 let me talk, please. And if you lose, people will come for you and they will come for you in a bitter because we have been on this for the past nine months. And what we want is justice, and we want to win. We don't want to lose. Look at the time. This is 2 a.m. in the UK. 
and we the have to prince, talk and promise. Please, one second, the prince. Um, just before you came in, I was trying to find this solution that you were basically talking about, and um, the mm. crocodile was suggesting something. Let's move forward, like you're saying. Uh, you're basically just going back and repeating the same thing that you know we all know. Um, so basically, so solution. Mr. Have you, Mr. Titus, I want to. Yes, sir. Mr. Titus. Yes, sir. Can, can I just say something real quick, please? Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, I'm sure, Mr. Titus. Um, Honorable York Daddy, Mr. Lydie, uh, Mr. Crocodile, and Barista. Barista uh, Lydie, please. <laughs> okay, Barista Lydie, I uh, can attest to this. Uh, this is exactly what I uh, saw uh, that made me to, you know, start the journey of peaceful reconciliation. Um, and I think we've done that on some platform, you know, trying to see a way. Uh, everybody can just coexist peacefully, even though they might not be, you know, in the same space to work together, but everybody can work in peace and harmony, and, you know, just towards this uh, purpose of getting this justice for this boy. Because if everybody, uh, if everybody is happy, you understand, uh, we don't need to be naming names, we don't need to be, you know, um thinking about this other person in the bad light everybody will just be working for the same purpose and same goals this is exactly the reason why we started all those peacemaking peaceful reconciliation and bringing people together and somebody said something very uh, key now not long ago i think it's mr crocodile that the reason why some people are in this justice uh, i think mr lady and barry and barista lady and barista do are just saying we attest to that this is the same topic we've been treating for the past two days on my platform. You know, we want to know the reason why, you know, people come into this justice in the first place. And um, we're doing that so as to bring people back emotionally to where it all began. So people can think that, okay, I saw Mubad head bent in a casket. I saw this. These are the things I saw, you know, uh, the visuals, the pictures I saw that made me to, you know, emotionally attached to this case in the first place. Because I think a, a whole lot of us have already forgotten the reason why, you know, we are in this justice. So we are only trying to bring them, bring that memory back so people can reflect on that. Then they could be able to say, oh, okay, 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 this is where we are now. So that is what we've been treating for the past two, three days as well so the peaceful reconciliation we try that even though some people are bashing us that they don't want peace uh they only want bass boost every day um, and at the same time we won't stop even though i i commend at the york uh yesterday as well on my platform because he was the second person uh, or probably the first person i spoke to and from what i heard and from everything he talks to me about is a very you know, loving, jolly man, peaceful person, uh, and is ready for everything. There was even a day he was trying to stay, in fact, two times, and I spoke to him and he stopped. So the truth of the matter is that he chose the kind of personality he is. Uh, he's ready for everybody to coexist and walk under the same umbrella. I spoke to Mr. Lenshi. Mr. Lenshi was so happy, and he said, okay, if I could do this in another platform, it would be nice. And yesterday I was on Mrs. Adenike platform. I spoke to her as well. Uh, she appreciated that ideology. And she said, if there is any possibility that we can bring some hosts together on one platform, everybody come and discuss, you know, we, we have good time and we discuss some good things and maybe it could start from there and everybody will be happy. And I see sense in that. I came back on this same platform yesterday and I spoke about that too before uh, I go to bed. So uh, if we are talking about moving forward, these are the things and more that people need to bring on board that we need to think about. Somebody just said something, I think it's the prince, that you know, one person cannot win a war. It's true. You understand? It's true. So we might not need everybody. But we need so many bodies. You know, Thank we are you, not fighting Papa. governments. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. We are not fighting government like that person reiterated the other time. You understand? So no one can fight the government. So we are not fighting the government. Thank you very much, sir. Go ahead, Mr. Tyson. Thank you. Thank you so much. I say I like to like, you know, go back and forth. I don't just like to, you know, keep going, going, me personally. Um, so um I wanna basically pass this to big one, uh, our president in this justice because uh, well uh, our second in command to uh, Baba uh, Mr. Muewa so the solution I want to propose is just like super vibe suggestion a group but can it just be on a whatsapp group with you and 
the hosts for Justice for Mobad. Even if you're not getting along with them, I believe there's a reason why they, you know, the, the misunderstanding is there, and all this can be made clear. Um, if Mr. Super Vibes can definitely be there, you know, uh, to keep the peace and to make sure everything is in order, it will also help. Um, Mr. Muiwai, to be honest, the work is is mainly in your hands. Um, we understand you're doing a lot already. We appreciate it. Even me, myself, I, you know, sometimes I, back, I, was, I was having my doubts. You know, people are having doubts till today. You know, when you hear something from one platform, you didn't hear the story from the beginning and, you know, you just want to make up your mind and, you know, go with, go with whatever your feelings is saying. So we have, you know, serious something to, serious problem to, uh, you know, trash. And it's very easy. You know, once all the posts on this Justice for Mobile are on the same page, you can all be on this this WhatsApp group maybe twice a week, once a week if you don't have enough time. You know, just to get the right information, we need to stop all this bashing. We need to, okay, identify who is injustice or who is anti-justice, should I say. And, you know, just keep it moving. Keep them to one side and just keep moving on exactly what we need to do. You know, um, I would uh, really... I appreciate if you can make this happen, sir, Mr. Muiwa. No what's up, sir? Titles. Mr. Titus, no, you know what I think. Mr. Crocodile, thank you, sir. Sorry, one second, sir. So, sorry, sir. Mr. Is it, let, let him, let him, uh, let him respond to that now, because you know. No, 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 Mr. Lady, one second. So I just want to see this one quickly, then we'll respond. Please, I'm not talking about group, because a lot of people have been saying no group. It's not a group. It's just for people to come together peacefully. No, no group. I'm not talking of group. Thank you very it's, much. It's to have a base. It's to have some a common a common ground with the host, and everyone is on the same page. One voice. Without one voice, you cannot really win anything. I go to one platform. Is this person they're attacking? I go on this one. They're talking about this person. If they're not for justice for mobile, maybe they should just shut down or focus on what they're talking about and not talk about it no more. But as long as they say they're for justice for mobile, they should be on this group, getting reasonable information, knowing exactly what information to put out there and what not to put out there. And um, obviously concerning the protest and all this, um, you know, on other platforms, Mr. Muiwa, I believe work has to be done there. You know, those are the platforms, you know, because everyone's going there to all these places, spreading all this false information that we, you know, we, they, we, what we know right now, they don't know. Let's put it that way. So it will be nice for everyone to be on the same page and we all, on, you know, move together as, as one, basically. Thank you. Yeah. Can, can, Mr. Can, can we allow him to just, discuss, because, you know, he, he, he do what's deserved and we want to know his, his take on what, um, Titus just said down. Mr. Miwa, please, um, can you omit and respond to Titus, please? Thank you. <coughs> oh, thank you very much. To be honest, in Sky, uh, all the people you see fighting, having problems uh, as a result of coming together as a group and then at the same time if they don't have their way they will come out because they have a platform and then they will start saying bad things about that person for me that was why i said we try it with okay let us have a structure let us have a group we have a group we have two groups, so to say. And then we have them. We can't be having two groups. Let us merge the group together. The two groups, they have a meeting. At the end of the day, they say they will go back to inform the other group member. When they come back, when they came back, they said they will not be together. The same, the same, we are fighting for justice together, but we can't be the same group together. That was, then some people want to be in control. It has always been like that. For me, I will not say, because from this, uh, from this narration now, probably the post, 
the host want to be in a group and then i want us to know that you you only know your mind as a host you don't know the mind of other person the reason why you have a platform is quite different from the others now if the host since they are the one that will be dishing out information for to the public because whatever they whatever they have in the in the group or in the group that they put together is probably the what they are going to tell the people to be sincere if they also want to have a group i'm not uh, I won't go against whatever the youth wanted to want to do. But what I can assure the host is that if after having a meeting, if after having a meeting, because if I said I should be in the group, that means I'm going back to my vomit. Because we try it. If the youth could collaborate together and have a a group fine but whatever they discuss in that group probably may be uh, i'm not me i'm not saying me as in i'm not compelling i'm not compelling if they can whatever they discuss the the way forward if they can, can let me know as individual I will give my own, uh, my own, uh, what's it called, my own uh, suggestion, so that uh, because for me to be in the group with the us, meaning that okay, what I have said, okay, no group. Let us anybody that has anything, let the person come and we discuss. I have been talking to a lot of people behind them. I not be coming on the on the pages of the uh, platform to be saying whatever we are discussing, and then things are moving. But if they all feel that oh, that is the way that okay, they could they could make it work. They can go ahead. But uh, whatever they discuss, what they can choose any one person, and then they they will just. I and that person, because they will have argue, argue out, okay, this is the way forward, okay, maybe they will let me know. But if I say, let me be in that group, I tell you what my experience with all the group has not even, uh, it's not on this justice, so not on other thing. No. I bet you some people they will be taking it up, they will be, okay. in fact, sometimes we want to treat a topic, maybe like five topics, we will not finish one. one. And they will be there fighting ourselves. So if the host, if they want to have, uh, what's it called? If they want to have a group, whatever they discuss, and then they let me know. <laughs> I will say, okay, this is my own part. This is my own uh, 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 perspective to that, so that I, I won't see you. any, I won't see any host as bias or being anti justice. I won't see the way they are fighting. I won't see the way you are angry in the existing mm. so so um, the argument for example is coming up when um you know there's misunderstanding and we're just trying to stop all that misunderstanding obviously uh so for example the information you know you have basically that went round today could have been could have gone round differently to the point where um before even uh, she knew it everyone every other host knew it and everyone's basically giving her gratitude and thanks on all their platforms at the same time you know coordination is what we need rather than just things just bouncing up and down um so yes um you know if you say you don't want to personally be on the um on the group at the same time as the other host well it's a choice um but personally i think as you know our leader <laughs> our second in command we we need you on in there you know to basically you know that was sorry um, that was sorry um, i think when you were making this story i think he said maybe based on what supervisor was saying that the host can be in the group and then um, whatever they discuss and um, they can reach out to him individually and in, 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 that's, that's what you're about the whole group thing that's, that's yeah but that individually is going to be tricky the, the, we need him there no 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 
No, the I, what I said is that whatever they agree upon, you understand, they will shoot somebody, okay, go and no. Because the experience, probably, I think it's because maybe if not, uh, people, for the past uh, how many months, I tell you there's no group that has not, uh, the purpose of that group has been defeated, to be sincere. Hmm. The purpose of those, look, Aries were in a group, if the fallout, uh, African TV and Aries and Ada, all of them they were in the group before, the fallout, because everybody interest is not aligned. Hmm. People are just saying they want to I fight for justice, you. but I understand the reason, you. I understand the reason why you people are in justice is different. Mm. Um, yeah, I understand uh, you on this uh, one, but I'm actually yeah, referring I'm to hosts. Okay, let me, I'm referring let me, to hosts right now. Okay. Let me talk, let me, please, you know let, me, let, let me say something here. Titus, crocodile, please, also one second. Yeah. Um, what I was saying initially was that we just need to coexist. That is yeah. the angle where I'm coming from to make peace. Then, and I said in my journey of going to a different platform, someone bring up a suggestion. It's not my suggestion. It's someone that said it that if this can happen, this can as well help. You know, just to push the narrative, everything we talk, just the same thing Titus said now, that, you know, it will just be like a central information unit whereby everything people are passing now, it will just go the same way. So it's just somebody that came up with the idea that this might also help. But to me, I say no to group because from day one, any group they'll be talking about to me, I said no. I don't want to be in any group. I'm just myself oh. because I've I've looked around. Hold on, hold on, Prince, please, sir. I've seen the way things are, you know, uh, things that has happened in the past. So uh, it's not encouraging, you know. But people, we can all do the things we can do peacefully and coexist. But that doesn't mean that a group needs to be formed. Like me, I would not like to be in any group. Me, in a particular, I won't be in any group. That just so, um, personally, personally, I would, I would, I would like um, Mr. Aristocrat to be in the group, and uh, he's already That's willing to please. help. Please. He's willing to put his uh, contribution and whatever. Um, yeah. Super vibes, you know. Personally, you know, if you say you don't want to be in the group to talk or to say too much, then fine. But for that, for for your great work in terms of making peace. I would really appreciate if you can be present, if that group did, does exist. You know, let's uh, let's, okay, let's look at it. To, yeah. Let's look at it like this. Uh, if you look at the United States, there are 50 states, independent states, working in the United States, in the constitu cons that constitute the country, and each of those states are working independently. They work independently, but they work in synergy with the country. Understand. So they control their resources, they control their labor, they control their infrastructure, the revenue, and most things that go on in the state. That's so we can that's use, legalism. Yeah. So we can use that. We can try. We can, we can adopt that kind of system. Each host, in and of themselves, are as a state. They are a system on their own because uh, each host can take a step. If any host wants to take any step. They can consult Mr. Moiwa that this is what we want to do, this is what about this is what we're about to do. And any host that also want to work in synergy with that host can come together and carry out that action, be it protest or petition or whatever. They can carry out the action together with the approval of Baba. Uh, over, with the uh, oversight of under the oversight of Mr. Moiwa, they can carry that out. But no host is going to be like in the same group, you know, things like that, except maybe they want to consult each other and compare notes. You understand? Yes, Working in synergy is better. When you work in synergy, okay, okay. You know what? We are, we are trying to plan a protest. Uh, this is this is the details of the protest. Can you join us? Okay, well, let's see the details. Then they compare the notes and okay, since it's for justice for Mobad, let's do it together. No problem. After the justice for Mobad, every host go back to their platforms and continue doing their independent jobs. You understand? I think that 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 will be a bit better because it gives the host uh, a, a a sense of independence. You know that okay, they can fashion things, they can create things by themselves, and also give them a sense of belonging. That when it's time for them to do something big, a big project in J4M, they can collaborate with those who are willing to collaborate with them under the oversight of Mr. Moyewa with the approval of Baba. 
You understand me? So yeah, it sounds like a good idea. And if one of them Yeah, because many many hosts have different agenda and that's the reality. We have to understand that the reality is different host has a different agenda. Let's we have to come to embrace the reality. It is sad, but what can we do about it? We can't do anything about it. We have to embrace it. Some hosts are for fame, some are for the money, some are for the glamour and the glitz and the you know, you know what I mean, for the splendor and the panoply and the big big shit. So we have to see how we can use, you know, the post positive and negative for the justice for Mubad movement because there is no how every host is not no host is uh, in the, is is is, uh, is 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 dispensable. We can still work together on some things to achieve the aim. So and when the aim is being achieved, when certain things are done together, just like what uh, Amika did and um, Perkins did yesterday, both of them are host and they came together to stage a protest. Let's assume that we have some hosts in Nigeria that can work with them too. They could have done it together. You understand? So, but uh, they did it together and everybody went back to the platforms. So that's like a, a template that could be used. Because I believe every host wants to have this independence. Like they, they want to have this muscle that they can be able to, you know, move things the way they want to do. We should give them that space to do that. But while at the same time, you know, having a single sense of belonging that if they want to do something that involves you know, more people, then they can collaborate with other us that are interested in collaborating with them for the J4M movement. It's as simple as that. It kind of reduces the tension, it reduces the insecurity, you know, the jealousy and all those things like that. And at the same time, it gives the host an opportunity to also work with each other by maintaining an air of independence for themselves. So we have to consider the human, uh, in, in other cases, the human weaknesses that is always in every system. And this could be a good system, a good way to eliminate it, or to let's say manage it. Yeah, just like just like Daddy York now, Daddy York wants to do something. He can maybe text Mr. Lorie. Be okay. You have spoken to my uh, people, on my platform. This is what we're about to do. Mr. Lorie will say, okay. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay, Mr. Lorie will also broadcast it, you know, to his own people. And of course, there are a lot of things are going on in uh, Olorebi platform, and a lot of people will be ready to collaborate and work together with it. Work together with Daddy York and Papa Riano and anyone who is interested. So that's so that's my take. But when we say we come together in a group, you know, one person wants to lead the group, one person wants to be a tough voice in the group, one person wants to muscle everyone to speak, you know, one wants to be a chief whip, one wants to be a senator, one wants to be, you know, this and that and all those things like that. Yeah. Um, um, oh, sorry. Hello, please, Glass. Hello, please, Glass. Hello, please. Hello, 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 Daddy, this. Uh, Sorry. Hello, please. Uh, hello, please. Please. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Is it can ABG, ABG FX? Has been here since he hasn't spoken. Please. Can we can we give him the chat? Oh. Please. Oh, you want to say something regarding what you're talking about, you know, before you move on to the next uh, agenda, you know. Uh regarding the group talks, I don't think the group talks is gonna work, but what what I just want Mr. Miwa to do is that we have been hammering some stuff for the past nine months. Some things need to be done. I think I prefer Mr. Miwa to work on that. And then maybe to, to unite all the people together. Is that, is it for myself? Hello? Yeah, that's from the side. Sorry, sorry. Let me quickly do my submission. Do you know what? I will advise Mr. Mewa for to you no know, for him to unite all the O's and whoever who did all the stakeholders involved in the discourse for Mubad. Try to visit all their platform, listen to them, ask, let them ask questions. The one that, that you can listen to, listen to them. The one that you cannot listen, that you cannot answer to, tell them that you're going to get back to them. Make sure that you carry everyone along. People that believe in justice, make sure you carry them along. Do that to unite, to unite everybody together. Yeah, but so just imagine that happening now, and then uh, you know how it works with comment section. It's like this virus, you know, as soon as people start typing rubbish in there, you know, we cannot avoid it. We, no, we cannot avoid that comment section. So, my, you are not understanding me. It's just going to create more. Uh, 
I'm just like, suggesting it would be better on a WhatsApp. What are you talking about? The fact that I've never been to into a. You mean I don't look at the comments? But where is this? Where is the noise coming from, please? I believe in peace. Sorry, it's I me. Okay. In, in one voice, when we are when we are fighting for justice, if you do, we have we have to unite together. We have to unite together. We have to be in peace. We have to be in harmony. You know. Yeah. So, so I'm just saying. Imagine, imagine that discussion was done in a WhatsApp group, and then when the hosts come out live, they are relaxed. They explain everything. They calm everyone down. Let them know exactly the situation, and we just keep moving forward from there, rather than having uh, the back and forth on that TikTok people, live. People they don't want to be in group. They don't want to, some people they don't want to do backyard the conversation. They don't want to have backyard the conversation with anybody. Yes. Yeah, so, um, for example, the people, the pe the person you're talking about, I'm, I'm sure. We're just having a conversation. We're just going back and forth. We're okay. We're okay. Um, yeah. Please. Uh, okay. Please say what you would like to say. Let's ABGFS. Please, can you speak, please? I think he's been here for a while now. Okay. My own submission is that the truth is that there are so many things we should be doing, but we are not doing it. First of all, first of all, each host, each host, they're supposed to have their own profit group. It can be WhatsApp group or Telegram group. Each host is supposed to have their own personal group with their own, like, some brilliant or intelligent people there can be five there can be ten there can be twenty people in the group and that's that that one is aside so some some of the things that most of people they come to online and discuss they will be discussing it in the group and most of those things the host can go and call maybe mr muiwa or or the legal team or wherever they have access to that's one is aside. The next thing I want to talk about is that Mr. Muiwa said something about the soft number two group. Like because of some people don't want to go with other, they don't want to work with other group. I can say that there's no there's nothing wrong in about some people, some group don't want to work with other group. Because my group, me, I can trust my own group, but I can't trust the other group that comes to join me. So how do you want me to work with them? What people that want to join my group, they are at justice group. How am I going to work with them? So to me, I didn't see any reason in people to say that I don't want to work with these people. It's because they don't know them. I may trust my group, but I can not trust that group. So that is that that that, that one is So the next thing I want to talk about is that in social media, we make we, we make more thoughts in black app TikTok more than any other social media which is not supposed to be which is not supposed to be 